Nobody likes paying bills. Take your sewer bill, for example. You know it's something you need to pay, but you might not understand just what you're getting for your money. Where does it go? Does paying your bill allow you to flush your toilet? Or does it pay for new pipes underground or what? In Northeast Ohio, it does those things and more. The Northeast Ohio Regional Sewer District is responsible for transporting and cleaning 90 billion gallons of wastewater every year, serving homes and businesses throughout Cleveland and surrounding communities. Since 1972, sewer rates have funded huge construction projects that helped revitalize the Cuyahoga River and Lake Erie. But significant challenges to water quality and public health remain, which is why you will see large increases in your rates in the coming years. So how big are the rate increases? Where's the money going? What will I, as a customer, really see besides a higher bill? The question goes back to, where does it go? Your sewer bills help make clean water possible, funding the 24-hour operation of three treatment plants, as well as the construction, maintenance, and repair of hundreds of miles of sewer pipes. It also supports the monitoring of local water quality. But there's more. Each year, heavy rainstorms cause the sewer system to overload and discharge billions of gallons of sewage into local waterways. If we are going to keep our Great Lake great, we need to address the serious water quality issue. Project Clean Lake will help us do just that. In old cities like Cleveland, sewage from homes and businesses flows in the same pipe as the rainwater that runs off streets and rooftops. Those pipes are called combined sewers and some were built over 100 years ago. These pipes originally carried waste away from the public and directly into nearby waterways. Thankfully, treatment plants were built to capture and clean that water. The sewer district currently operates three wastewater treatment plants in Northeast Ohio, cleaning wastewater and returning it safely to Lake Erie and the Cuyahoga River. But as the population in Greater Cleveland has grown, so has the amount of hard surfaces like roads, sidewalks, rooftops, and parking lots. So instead of soaking into the ground, more rainwater began to flow, and still does, into the sewer system. During rainstorms or when snow and ice melts, the amount of water entering the combined sewers can overwhelm the pipes. So to prevent sewer backups and flooding, the pipes were designed to allow some of the untreated rainwater and sewage to overflow into the environment. This is called combined sewer overflow or CSO. The sewer district has significantly reduced CSOs over the years, but the Environmental Protection Agency considers the current number of discharges a violation of the Clean Water Act. Project Clean Lake is a program that will enable the sewer district to meet the requirements of the Clean Water Act by reducing combined sewer overflows. The $3 billion program will take between 20 and 30 years to complete and is one of the largest infrastructure projects in Cleveland's history. While the sewer district has already reduced the total volume of raw sewage discharges from 9 billion gallons in the 1970s to 4.5 billion today, Project Clean Lake will go even further, cutting that annual volume to 494 million gallons. Over 98% of the water entering our combined sewer system will be cleaned. At the heart of Project Clean Lake is the construction of seven tunnels, ranging from two to five miles in length, up to 225 feet underground and up to 24 feet in diameter, large enough to park a semi-truck. Project Clean Lake also includes sustainable projects we call green infrastructure, designed to store, absorb, and evaporate stormwater above ground before it even makes its way into the combined sewer system. These infrastructure investments, which we call capital projects, will benefit not only the environment, but the local economy as well. Five years of capital investments can create more than 31,000 new jobs and $443 million in tax revenue across seven counties. These are things you don't think about when you pull the drain in your sink or flush your toilet. But now that you know where it goes, perhaps paying your bill might be less frustrating. You can see the result. 
a great lake, and a great future for Northeast Ohio.